kilungu cha miongo thandatu na ile ulu wayana miasaka na silikali ya Kenya ni traiwe undu vailete ungua utongoi wa Dr. William Ruto na uleneo mwusumbi wa nde eno kukilungu cha miongo ili na itano mayasaka na kesomo ni kiende ye na ukila ungu wa utongoi wa Dr. William Ruto ta president wa nde ya Kenya ona vailu kilungu cha miongo ili na ile mayasaka na Kenya ni ende na utuai wa Nesa Kavinda ni kaune kana kithure kidiki na ula niwe minister muviane wa mugo wa Kenya Ewe tutawe minister ula wethi tu adhukumete na esa ku Ezekiel Machogu na ula ni minister maunduni makisomo Na kenda wetu wa kwithi wa ewa keli dhino adhukumi wa ma minister wa Kenya Uni kuatia niya na ukune kili ula wiki weni ishirika ya infotrack Laja isi ya kanane kulili a Kenya aingie mawoni mo lua maunduka uta meokoni ande ino ya Kenya what about the 6 in 10, the 62% who said the country is headed in the wrong direction? What are some of the reasons that they gave? 73% mentioned high cost of living, followed by high taxation or high taxes imposed on people at 5%, unemployment at 5%, poor governance and bad politics, 4 and 3%, but of course also mentioned though in significant numbers of uh, between 1% is uh, drought, poverty, rampant corruption, and unequal distribution of jobs. When we look at the key issues after the first question was uh, basically to establish uh, the reasons why each of the respondents opined uh, that the country would be headed in either of the direction. But then it was critical to find out what do they want to be addressed as a matter of priority. That is our second uh, theme for this presentation. High cost of living was mentioned by 72%. Remember, in the previous slides I've just mentioned, the cost of living was a reason for the 62% country headed in the wrong direction and there's a difference of about 1% because that had 73% as a reason why the country is headed in the wrong direction and overall for the 2,149 Kenyans, they want cost of living to be addressed as a matter of priority. Unemployment was mentioned by 30%. Uh, quality of education, I believe you've covered a lot of parents or stakeholders complaining about um, the CBC or the quality of education that is coming from uh, the introduction of the new curriculum. 19% want agriculture to be addressed. Insecurity and poverty reduction tied at 14%. Then access to clean water mentioned by 13%. Cost of doing business. Um, 12%, transport and road and infrastructure, 12%. Another two that had double digit of 11% each was access to healthcare services and corruption. Of course, there are those that were also peculiar. Um, there was youth empowerment, 8%. Then CDF and bursary allocation, 7%, we all believe or know that there's been a lot of back and forth after the Supreme Court uh, ruling on the former CDF. So, uh, and of course the MPs uh, crying a lot that uh, the disbursement has been delayed. And help allocation um, was mentioned by 6% as an issue to be addressed as a matter of urgency. Of course, others that were lumped at 16% included food security, drought uh, management, drug, and higher taxation. And of course, there is also foreign relation. I just believe uh, uh, within this week there's been a lot of exchanges after the closure of um, China Square. Um, if you look across the regions, there is no significant difference on which region um, is peculiar, peculiar to one thing. However, the cost of, of doing business was captured with Nairobians and the northern 
eastern part has peculiar reasons that they want to be addressed and access to uh, clean water was mentioned in eastern um, region. But of course, if you look at unemployment, cost of living and quality of education, it cut across with the uh, western uh, ranking the highest when it comes to the need for addressing quality education.